Yeah, look, the first day in, um, you know, being yesterday morning, you could tell, you know, the group was was down, and rightfully so. We, um, you know, we, we let an opportunity slip away, and so that was, you know, where the disappointment lies. And the conversation was, you know, around the fact that despite being eliminated from come competition, it's different than, you know, when you're eliminated from a playoff scenario, which we've experienced. We still have a, th a third, a little less than a third of the season to play and meaningful games. And so we need to, to now put that competition um, in the past and, and the result in the past because it's a, a quick turnaround like we experienced after the Columbus game. And I thought the response was very good. The result wasn't. But, um, you know, how can we get uh, both of those things on, uh, um, I don't even know what day it is, uh, on Saturday. <laughs> um, how did, how do you feel like the guys came out of it physically, especially like, you know, the guys that went right. Well, certainly that game took its toll. I mean, you could see it if you if you were watching it live. So, a lot of the last 24 hours and even you know up until training was just having conversations with guys to uh, to see you know how they came out of it and and have conversations to make sure that. Uh, we're putting, uh, you know, a strong and, and fresh squad on the field. So, um, you know, there'll be a, a couple changes in there, but I think guys have recovered better than expected. And, and we, you know, we were very light on the field today. A lot of it was a, more of a walkthrough than we typically would um, just to, to save the legs and, and shorten the durations just because of the, the temperature. So um, I think by tomorrow evening, you know, they'll, they'll be uh, um, in a good place. But certainly there was fatigue over the last, you know, 24, 36 hours.